Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Just showing you a few of the paintings that I've done in the last week or so, or, or they were well over a week ago. Um, somebody asked me can they see them dry, so there you go. That one's um, one that I finished and is nice and dry now. It hasn't yet been coated with a varnish or anything but as you can see it's still quite shiny the paint is glistening in it and then there was the monochrome background um, piece that I did with this starburst I did add some little flowers on the bottom why because I can <laughs> so that one's all dried beautifully too and they're just waiting now for me to um, uh, varnish them or or, you know my wipe over resin whatever I decide to do with them so today I'm going to split do a split design like a so this color looks black on the video but it's actually a dark navy that I'll make up myself and I'll do the other side with the white and give it a good coat of that and um, go from there. So I'm doing a voiceover today because the noise was just too much in my studio with work going on and banging and clattering. So I had to wait till I get a quiet time to do the voiceover in my video. So as you can see, I'm just gently going over the um, areas now with my uh, offset sp spatula palette knife um, somebody asked me where I get these palette knives from the offset ones the miniature like that I get them from uh, homeware stores if you're in Australia I got that one from spotlight <coughs> excuse me <coughs> having a coughing fit there that's um, what this cold has left me with a really bad cough so as I was saying, uh, yeah, the offset spatulas are great for things like this, really um, quick and easy to do. So I just love those. I just love them. So I have got a few of them. They're not very expensive to buy. Uh, I think I've got some in my Amazon shop for the US as well there. So my next exciting thing to this is using my five sectioned split cup. It's got one, two, three. I think it's five sections isn't it yeah so um haven't used my split cups for a while so thought that i'd have a little go with these so the colors i'm pouring in at the moment is a turquoise i think it's called turquoise beach actually it's a global impasto color um and no actually this one is turquoise beach that i'm pushing in the first one was just turquoise so mixed up there because I'm not in my studio I'm doing the voiceover so hence why I'm probably going to get mixed up so the next colour that I'm going to add is one that I made was um with bronze and silver added so I just it was metallic bronze and I added some metallic silver so it just took the colour down a little bit. It's really quite nice when it dries too. Very glisteny. And then the final colour is a, a champagne colour. Which is 50% gold, 50% silver. Makes a really lovely champagne colour. So that's what I am going to actually pour on that diagonal of the... The composition is on the diagonal so I'm actually going to pour that split cup on the diagonal <coughs> from there on to so see how we go with this one come on Jilly hurry up waiting 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 oh, I'm gonna start that way you're not actually gonna see the cup what the paint coming out of the cup if I do it like that but um, so there you go that's a just started to uh, yeah pour it out and already I love the colors together they're lovely coming really nice 
it does um, seem to go forever like pouring really slow because my paint is quite thick but um, really nice effects on it so just sped the camera sped the the film up a little bit to um, so it's a you know can can see what's happening a little bit quicker so if you know, in the background my dog going backwards and forwards and under my feet but as you can see the um, Outcome's quite interesting, I think. I haven't done one for a while, but probably with a bit more contrasting colours, if I'd have put more of that um, bronze colour in there, would have worked a little bit better for me, I believe. So, just... Now I am about to tilt. But yeah, I think I could have done with a f definitely some more contrasting colour between that uh, turquoise beach and turquoise. It's very similar. So I should have put a, the bronze in between them, I believe. But it's still an interesting painting and something that I haven't done in a while. So just the very slowly tilting it. And then um, make sure you recenter it. Come back to the centre again before you tilt in another direction. It's kind of quite like you're looking down on an ocean from an aeroplane or something, I find. It's got some really lovely effects in those rings as well there. But definitely like that bronze in it. So definitely, definitely must put more bronze in between because that would have been far nicer, I believe, with the bronze. <coughs> so I'm just going to get my spatula to do a little bit of fiddling. I'm going to go around the edges and finish off my edges. And you, you can certainly use your fingers in this paint. It doesn't have to be perfect or done with a brush or whatever you can just um, finger pop the edges and he pops some pops the paint on the edges quite easily but yeah I felt that it just needed a few little bits of fiddling with my palette knife and a bit more tilting obviously uh, come on Jilly move it on Kind of looks like a horse's face facing us now with its mate where the bronze is is his mane sticking up and his face is into the blue ocean a bit so yeah I just thought I had to sort of take off that hard edge of the um, turquoise and the white add a little bit of softening to it and I felt this kind of just really did the trick. So don't ever be frightened to fiddle. You know, as I always say, it's only paint. Um, the worst that can happen, you just have to scrape the paint off and start again. But, you know, sometimes it's worth doing that if there's something you don't feel is quite right. But, yeah, I haven't done one of these kind of paintings for a while with the rings and the colours like this so it was really nice to do this um, split cup pour again. So I think those particular split cup that I used today were from the American supplier that they had sent me. Um, I'm not actually sure but I know it's the US USA supplier it's not the Australian supplier that that particular cup was from. I'm just whizzing over with my heat gun, burst any air bubbles and hoping that the drawing gods um, treat this painting nicely, which they do, you will see in the end, and 
I will say thank you so much for joining me and I will say bye for now until tomorrow I'll be back tomorrow I'm here every day if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button my videos are up every day if you're missing videos you know that there's plenty there on my main channel they're there every day absolutely gorgeous so happy with it um, and love it and I hope you do too so until tomorrow bye for now